The work area or the workspace includes menus, toolbars, and panels that give users quick access to an array of tools and options for editing and manipulating images and graphics. The default workspace in Photoshop CS4 displays the application bar, the menu bar, and the options bar at the top of the window, the tools panel on the left, and several other panels on the right. In this module, we'll go over Photoshop's workspace and screen modes. There are two ways to access the workspace menu in Photoshop. The first is by going to the Windows menu, then selecting Workspace. And the second is by using the workspace menu located on the application bar. Essentials is the default workspace. Let's change it by selecting typography. This is a good workspace to have when working with type. Another interesting workspace is what's new in CS4. Let's return to the workspace menu and select what's new in CS4. Afterwards, click on any of the menus on the menu bar, and you'll notice all the new things in CS4 highlighted in blue in the submenu. Let's start by clicking on the File menu, for example. Let's now return to the Essentials workspace. Afterwards, let's click on the Window menu, here you'll notice some items with check marks next to it, which indicates currently active panels. Let's select animation to make that panel appear. Go back and select history as well as the navigator panel under the windows menu. To save this workspace for future use, Go to the Workspace menu and select Save Workspace. Type in My Custom Workspace in the Name text box, and then click on the Save button. If you go back to the Workspace menu, you'll see My Custom Workspace as part of the list of workspaces designated below. Now, in order to delete it, we have to go back to a different workspace, such as the Essentials workspace. Then select the Workspace menu and select Delete Workspace. In the Delete Workspace dialog box, select the workspace you want to delete. Afterwards, click on the Delete button. And finally, click on the Yes button. Now moving on to different screen modes, you can either go to the View menu, point to Screen Mode, and select Full Screen Mode, for example. Or again, you can go to the Application Bar and use the Screen Mode button. Go ahead and click on it, and choose Full Screen Mode. To go back to standard screen mode, simply hit the escape key on your keyboard.